This project with the diocese started with Charles Ruxton, who wanted to do something for Thy Kingdom Come in a very different way. For the past 15 years, um, Jake has created pictures and sent them to me and said, what do you think of these? And I found that his images he spoke in a very different way to, to lots of the traditional images that we use uh, in terms of the Christian faith about the love of God, the God in the midst of our hurting, and the dream of God, that God's dream for each of us. The revelation, if you like, or the light bulb moment came when I thought, actually, there are three experiences of my journey with God or my, my faith, which are all part of that same journey. They're part of that same dimension, that same experience. So they need to be placed together. So that's when I began to think about a year ago that I wanted to make a triptych which incorporated and integrated that experience of wonder, of pain, but also of transformation. I'm always looking for an excuse to bring people into church and to have three um, wonderful pieces of art in church has allowed me to invite two local schools down to allow their children to come and to interact with the, the, the images. Chris contacted me and said that we had an opportunity to work with the diocese and would we like to be involved and of course we said yes um, and we've been lucky enough today that he's been involved in working in the workshops with children and they've been able to look at some of the techniques that he's been able to show them and also talk about how those things connect with their lives. Working in schools is always pretty intense, it's uh, fast paced um, but very very re rewarding as children tend to be very open about their spiritual journey and their faith or their experience of life. It's really affirmed me in thinking that imagery can open up a conversation in a way which sometimes words can't um, and that responding through and making imagery as well is, is, a, is a very potent act. They're going to go down to church tomorrow and actually see the actual artworks um, and then respond with uh, Jake again. Um, so they'll not only have had a chance to work with him as an artist, but also to respond to the works on a spiritual level, which is going to be quite fantastic. The, the, the triptych will be available to tour for at least a year around the Literal Diocese, and that's a big diocese, so we have bookings for September and October, but there are plenty of um, spaces available beyond that. We've tried to make this um, user-friendly for people who are not used to touring art. So f first of all, it fits in into the back of my rather small Ford Fiesta, and that's deliberate so that you don't have to hire a van. But more importantly, it comes with a range of resources to enable either a school or a church or both to really make the most of it. So it comes with a, an educational a set of resources in a box uh, and on a memory stick, which are assemblies, workshops, lesson ideas, so that somebody hosting the piece can really uh, engage young people with it uh, um, meaningfully and in a lively, dynamic way. And then Chris has written some very, very beautiful liturgies, which will be in his next book, um, but which, which reflect liturgically, theologically, on these three pieces. Um, and finally, we've had a mutual friend of ours, John Morse Brown, who's carved uh, special communion vessels for the piece. I've written three different liturgies and with them I've provided a new Eucharistic prayer but also an agape because I find it difficult using Eucharist in school because it excludes so many people. So I've written an agape which would mean that you could break bread and share a cup of Ribena with the, the whole school as Jesus did with the feeding of the 5,000 um, and invite them into an understanding of loving, hurting, dreaming God.